All right, what well, I got here today, this is a Smith & Wesson model 645. It's chambered in 45 uh, ACP. It's got a single stack magazine. Gun is clear. As you can see, it's all stainless. Um, it's got a safety and also it serves as a, as a decocker as well. But this gun was uh, came out in about 1985, and it was only made for about three years, from like 85 to 88. Um, and there's a good article I'll try to put it in the description that uh, a guy from Smith and Wesson Forum shared with me, kind of about how the gun was, uh, you know, came about out of a, a need uh, that a competitive shooter, Smith and Wesson shooter, had, um, and uh, then they just decided to have a commercially available model and then this gun also the 745 uh, went on to become like the I guess a competition type of gun it was a single action but this gun uh, you know was, was marketed to consumers it was also I think carried by a certain law enforcement the most uh, you know notable of which was Sonny Crockett carried this on Miami Vice um, so Sonny Crockett had this gun on Miami Vice from seasons, uh, I think, three and four. Like, you know, the first uh, the first two seasons, I think he had a Bren 10. Then they switched over to this in three, seasons three and four. And then uh, season five, he had another a Smith & Wesson, a, a newer, I guess, prototype of this, of this model. Um, this is a nice gun. It's all stainless steel, 45 ACP. Uh, this one's got like an aluminum uh, back strap on them. I've read that some may have plastic. Um, I'm not sure, but this is like it's some sort of aluminum or alloy uh, back strap. Um, and then some of them, instead of having an Allen key here, they'll have like just a regular Phillips uh, head screwdriver. This is a real nice gun, five inch barrel. Uh, you know, real, real nice. I need to clean it up a little bit. I cleaned it up some for the video, but. I missed a few little places here and there but uh, real nice gun if you grew up in the 80s you know watching Miami Vice which I did I was probably a little bit too young to watch it when it first came out but I did anyway um, you know Sonny Crockett on there I mean he was just like an icon you know Don Johnson's character and uh, you know of course uh, you know famously carried this gun for two seasons I'm gonna take it out and do a little bit of shooting I've got some reloads here that I've got. Uh, these are berries um, with uh, looks like six grains of Winchester 231. Then I'm gonna see how these cast my cast bullets run in it. These are the Lyman uh, cast bullet and powder coated. And I've got yeah six grains of 231 in these as well. So I'm gonna take those out see how they shoot see if I can uh, represent uh, Miami Vice here so it's a single stack eight round magazine I've read stories or heard stories that this uh, gun would actually chamber a uh, empty shell casing so uh, give it a try here look at that <laughs> Chamber an empty shell. It'll chamber an empty shell casing. So this thing, I would say, will pretty much uh, eat just about anything you want to you want to give it. So let's go do some shooting.
Well, all in all, it's a really fun gun uh, to shoot. And uh, the trigger took me a little bit to get used to the trigger. It's not something I'm, I'm really used to. Uh, shoot a lot of double action revolvers and uh, Glocks and uh, it's a little uh, a little different than what I'm used to but not not bad It took me a minute to get used to it, but uh, it was mainly shooting low and it looks like a little bit to the right um, So uh, I don't know I need to adjust the sights on there, but yeah for the most part. I mean I had a good little string here and I had a few in here, so Hey, you know, it's fun. Great gun. You know, Miami Vice, Don Johnson, uh, special. So, you know, that's the claim to fame. But anyways, really great gun. Built like a tank. Cycle anything. Fun to shoot. So, hey, there it is. Thanks for watching.